بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس دا کرنٹ سیشن فوکسز آن دا امپیکٹ آف اربنائزیشن آن دا سوشل لنگوسٹک سین آف پاکستان آئی ہوپ اینڈ ایکسپیکٹ بائی دا اینڈ آف دس سیشن یو وڈ ہیو سم گراسپ اوور دا کانسیپٹ ویل مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس وین وی لک ایٹ دا کرنٹ پاپولیشن آف پاکستان ون تھرڈ آف اٹ از اربن ٹوڈے اینڈ یو نو دیر از and estimate there are predictions that by 2025 you know from this one third the shift would be to 50 percent so 50 percent of population of pakistan is estimated to be urbanized by you know um 2025 and you know um different experts and different researchers they have given their views on that they have given different reasons for why and how it is happening In fact, about Pakistan, it is said that it is on an unusual rate of 3%. Um, that is the fastest uh, pace in South Asia that Pakistan is being urbanized. Um, actually, the United Nations, Nations Population Division estimates that by 2025, nearly um, 50% of the population would live in cities, which means a major shift from the agricultural um you know um uh, uh, kind of um, you know um context to the completely industrial context other projections which use um, density based rather than administrative definitions of urbanization they conclude that already 50% of people have been urbanized in the recent times and you know if i go for certain facts and figures in relation to certain cities for example lahore's population is currently 7 million and according to the estimates by 2025 it will exceed 10 million so look at the immense number of shift you know um from the rural to the 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 urban social context of course it would then have socio linguistic implications it would have implications in terms of identities in terms of language choices and you know in terms of you know economic you know factors as well if we think of karachi 13 million 13 million people today live in karachi but you know by 2025 the number will be 19 million it is also very interesting that the number of pakistani cities with populations between 0.5 million uh you know Uh, will be 11 by 2025 um though you know um in the current times it is only 2 so you know uh, what we can conclude about the process of urbanization is that pakistan is at the threshold of a major demographic transition a major transition from a, a rural economy to uh, an industrial economy and a major shift in terms of you know lifestyle from the rural to the urban is taking place well my dear students um, generally when populations move from um, you know uh, rural areas to the cities there are certain reasons for example to escape from war to escape the insecurity and natural disasters sometimes also to seek new livelihoods and better basic services people shift from uh, villages to or from rural areas to to cities as far as pakistan is concerned you know industry um in the cities offers a kind of hope to uh, the people of pakistan um you know um that they can economically you know come out of the crisis and they can you know uh, establish themselves as strong economically and one of the major reasons for the aspirations of the youth of the rural areas to shift to the urbanized areas is this you know uh, however it has its own complications rising urban population has its own challenges that come with it of course this on flux of people to the urban areas you know um creates lack of facilities in the cities um it becomes difficult it becomes a challenge to meet the needs of these people here um now there there are binary relationships between you know um 
the advantages and the disadvantages that occur with or that come with this process of urbanization. Advances in telecommunication in these cities has provided great benefits to the Pakistani society in this sense. Um, but, you know, with the movement of people to the urbanized areas, um, issues in terms of linguistic identities are emerging on the sociolinguistic scene. People are deserting their uh, local languages and a major shift is uh, seen to be made to uh, the national language or to English language, um, which results in the um, gradual loss or, you know, um, a complete shift, you know, to these languages um, and ends up with the desertion of the vernaculars. Urbanization, on the other hand, you know, um, is a catalyst for modernization as well. And, you know, this shift from the rural to the urban areas, um, you know, is sometimes motivated or triggered by this desire to be modernized. Uh, on the other hand, this process of modern modernization has its own, you know, issues and problems because the required um, schooling facilities, for example, are not available, required market job to accommodate all this urbanized population is also not available. Uh, when it comes to the telecommunication uh, infrastructure, it has hastened the gro growth of Pakistan's influential private media, which has facilitated the spread of affordable mobile technologies and accelerated the, the internet hookups in Pakistan. But, you know, there are then again, as I said, it is a binary process. So, you know, under this umbrella of urbanization, there are... Uh, certain issues and challenges related to that because um, this uh, easy access to social media and this easy access to the global media generates false inspirations uh, and false ideals in the, the, the newly urbanized youth of Pakistan. So, uh, you know, um, all these push and pull forces are working simultaneously in Pakistan. In all this context, when it comes to the social linguistic scene, you know, it becomes important that um, importance is paid to crafting an appropriate linguistic policy for this urban life, um, which requires, you know, uh, for its creation, both, you know, creativity and judiciousness on the, on the part of the policymakers of Pakistan, so that this urbanization is, can be used as a positive sociolinguistic factor, not a negative one.